Hello everyone, it's George and welcome back to Call of Dragons. As dedicated free to play player who played this game for more than 500 days, I'm excited to share some insider tips and tricks with you. Stick around and let's dive in. If you had the questions in Call of Dragons regarding special units and what kind of hero pairs are going well with every single special unit in the game, then this video should be for you because I will try my best to explain hero pair progression from beginner to the late game uh, for the special unit hero pairs, right? Um, so let's start, right? Uh, for the special units, we, we have to speak about factions, right? Because factions and special units are like together. For example, Spring Wardens special units are Forest Eagles. Forest Eagles are cavalry melee flying units and generally, of course, you can pair hero, any hero pair with special unit, but it will be better if it will be flying, so you will have all the benefits, right? So, in order for us to choose the correct hero pairs for uh, Forest Eagles, we are looking at cavalry units, right? Cavalry heroes. Uh, for League of Order, League of Order is a mage faction and Celestials are mage ranged flying units, same as the Spring Wardens, totally different hero pairs for Celestials and for every single faction, right? The third one is Wilderburg and Wilderburg has Wyvern Riders, marksman ranged flying unit. Uh, if we're gonna rate them from uh, best to worst, I think um, well, Celestials are the best one, especially for PvP, uh, for Wars. Um, my choice would be the second choice, Wilderburg, because I like Marksman, maybe you like Cavalry more, but I think number one choice, number one special unit in the game is Celestials, and Wilderburg's uh, Wyverns and Spring Wardens, uh, Spring Wardens uh, Forest Eagles, depending on your choice, what you like more will be, will be the second and the third choice. So let's start with uh, the best one, League of Order, uh, Special Unit Celestials, Hero Pairs moving forward, right? Whenever you are starting the game, I'm sure you won't gonna have so many legendary heroes, right? Because you're gonna have limited access, um, simply because you have to move progress the game and unlock more heroes. That's why I think we need to mention Atheus, which is Flying Mage PvP Mobility, a hero which kind of suits perfectly well for Celestials, especially whenever you are starting the game. Atheus with uh, Thea would be a good choice. Uh, Atheus' main idea is that you won't gonna deal too much damage <clears throat> with Atheus, but at least you're gonna have high rage accumulation because of the extra rage gain you're gonna have, HP bonuses, healing received, well, generally, Atheus won't gonna be like damage dealer. You will, you will be most likely more tanky uh, with Atheus and Thea hero pair with Celestials. And we need to mention that Celestials has more attack damage than normal Westals, normal mages. So it kind of uh, switched together. A hero pair is tanky, but Celestials has high attack damage, right? So, well, this should be the first and beginner hero pair for um, League of Order special unit, which will be uh, Atheus and Thea. And in terms of artifact, in my opinion, there is a wider choice. If you are just starting the game, you can simply just put a magic bomb here, will be totally fine. Uh, if you're gonna unlock Phoenix Eye, Phoenix Eye will be amazing. Like, generally, every single mage artifact will be suitable for this hero pair depending on your style if you want offensive one i just said what well, which ones were great if you want more defensive one i think tiaro harbon is amazing choice especially for this type of hero pair right so let's imagine we are moving uh, progressing through the season to season and we want to upgrade our celestial hero pair well we have a choice here which is pretty good choice in my opinion way way better if you will unlock Bertrand and you will run uh, Bertrand, Bertrand with Thea, I think this hero pair is quite good, right? Uh, if we're gonna compare to Atheus, there is a big difference. Atheus is epic hero and Bertrand is legendary, but Bertrand has pretty high damage by itself, 1300 skill damage factor, which is quite good and in general like buffs which Bertrand is giving, skill damage from dealt bonus is great, especially for mages and defense penetration is amazing, right? But <clears throat> this won't gonna be like the most damage dealer hero pair generally because any hero pair will wear the Thea, 
Thea gives us a lot of survivability, right? That's why I like Thea almost in every single hero pair, in every single uh, faction. Doesn't matter which uh, troop type it is, right? Overall, the best hero in the game. Uh, so Bertrand and Thea should be a great hero pair uh, for Celestials, moving, moving, progressing through the um, like hero pairs from beginner to already mid game, right? And you can actually use Bertrand and Thea in late game also, right? If we're gonna speak um, about like artifacts, uh, of course, my Orb should be the amazing choice. Um, I generally think my Orb is especially a special artifact for Bertrand. And in terms of Warped, I think Shadow Fedrake is an exclusive, art, exclusive Warped for uh, Bertrand, and it actually works amazing well with the Captive, right? So I think this is a pretty good hero pair already, but we need to mention that Celestials are so good that you can actually uh, put Celestials on anything, any hero pair, or mage hero, hero pair, even uh, which are not even flying, like for example, one of the best merit getter hero pair with Celestials are Lilia and Thea uh, with Celestials, right? Uh, you are printing merits with this hero pair, but you kind of have to have uh, Lilia awakened because without Lilia being awakened, she is pretty weak. That's like one special uh, hero pair for Celestials, which I think everybody should try. Unfortunately, Lilia. Uh, I'm a free-to-play player, I, I have not even unlocked Lilia, but I still have to mention it, right? In terms of merits, Lilia and Thea is amazing with Infernal Flame and with some good, uh, like, warpets such as Sapphire Fedric, right? Infernal Flame and uh, Lilia Awakened give us a lot of Scorch, and I think Scorch is a great uh, merit-getter ability in the game, right? So this is all I wanted to speak about Celestials, and of course now we're gonna move ahead and speak about Wilderberg, right? Wilderbergs has a, a Wyverns, a Wyvern Riders, and they generally don't have more uh, damage than normal archers, such as it was in Celestials. Celestials had higher damage than Westels, but Wyvern Riders are more fast, right? They are they are having a higher march speed than normal. Um, archers, which means that you're gonna have a lot more movable um, hero pair, which will be easier for you to manage and easier for you to fight against tier 5s. I think there is only one good hero pair for Wyvern Riders, which I'm currently using, and that's Craig and Thea. I love this hero pair. I understand you are using Epic Hero in a, such a late game. I, I'm, I'm already playing this game more than 500 days, and I'm still using Epic Hero, right? But Craig and Thea, a lot of survivability, you can even deal damage to multiple targets, that's what Craig do, right, like bleed, and uh, especially it's really, really easy to awaken Craig, and my Thea is 5, 4, 2, 1, it's not even awakened, and it was many, many times happened that I got 20k merits out of this hero pair, right? Um, like generally, I think this is the only uh, hero pair which is good with the Wyverns. That's why I'm expecting that new archer hero should be great with Wyverns because we are actually missing um, flying archer legendary hero which will be great for Wyverns, right? But until we're gonna have the have a new legendary hero for Wyverns, I think. If you guys are playing with Wilderberg and you want to use Wyverns, put Craig uh, as a primary, put uh, Thea as a secondary. Uh, like, for example, for myself, I'm using Shadow Blade just purely for damage. And, uh, well, in terms of Warped, uh, I, I think Golden Rock with the uh, Rage Accumulation should be fine because I think this hero pair does damage by the skill because that's what Craig do, right? Unfortunately, that's it in terms of uh, Wyverns and what's the Wyverns hero progression. It's a good thing for beginners that you're going to have Craig and Thea super fast and you can already use them. But for late game, I think we need some more strengths in terms of heroes and legendary heroes especially, right? Uh, and the, well, that was the uh, Wilderberg with the special unit Wyverns and next one will be, of course, Spring Wardens, right? Spring Wardens has the a special unit of uh, forest eagles which are cavalry melee flying units right and they are super super fast that's the main idea behind those uh, 
forest eagles and the difference between normal cavalry, right? Uh, if you're gonna think about like forest eagles, I think there is a only one great hero pair. Well, for the beginners, let's say you are just starting the game and which hero pairs will work, we kind of have to have Forondil because Forondil is the specialized forest eagle hero. And well, you can use Foron Deal with the Craig, right? Both are the flying units. I have seen a lot of tier 5 players running Foron Deal and Craig. And what's the idea behind this, right? You're gonna have uh, mobility, uh, you're gonna have a lot of um, flying speed. And I think Forest Eagles with Foron Deal and Craig are one of the fastest March speed hero pair in the game. So your main idea is to be faster, to uh, cancel the targets by going far away and of course dealing damage to the enemy backline right that's for the beginners and plus because craig is really really easy to awaken uh, and for on deal well if you are you playing with forest eagles in the game i think your main priority should be to awaken for on deal as fast as possible right and that's why every single hero pair will be centered around for on deal with the uh, forest eagles uh, let's say this is our first beginner hero pair for Forest Eagles. What would be, what would be the next? I think next one should be Foron Deal with Thea, right? But yeah, we need to have Foron Deal awakened in order for us to be a uh, purely merit farmer with this hero pair. But generally, I think for cavalry playstyle, you kind of want to have high skills on your skills, uh, high levels on your skills, because that's that's what what gets you merits because. Cavalry uh, hero pairs are dealing damage by the skill damage factor, right? Uh, what what we can say about Forondil and Thea? I think Thea gives Forondil a lot of important buffs. A march speed bonus 20%. Defense and attack is always great. And here you are getting pure damage with these two skills. And of course, a lot of survivability by the shield factor, which is 1000. And we need to mention that... 50% hero skill damage, that's how uh, cavalry players are dealing damage to uh, to you and to enemy. That's why I think uh, Foron deal with Thea, I, I understand it won't gonna be as fast as Foron deal with Craig, but I think in terms of like uh, merits, in terms of survivability, all around your stats are getting too higher, and I think that should be the next target for Forest Eagles to have awakened Foron deal and to have at least good levels on Thea because I think it's not really necessary to have um, Thea awakened because like you are just giving one more shield to your nearby ally and that's not like that important. But of course, if you are running with multiple cavalry hero pairs, like three or four, uh, awakened Thea will give us a lot more survivability, not only for your hero pair, but also for uh, the another hero pair, right? That's uh, it, I think, in terms of Forest Eagles, but I still think you can even use Forest Eagles with Emery and Bakshi. You will be just faster, but you're not going to fly around the terrain, right? And that's what, what we want. We have to mention in the end of the video that uh, we spoke regarding flying special units and flying hero pairs, right? Because we, need to, we want to utilize every single benefit from the special units. But of course, you can use every single hero pair, even land, which is non-flyer, and the special units are going to work perfectly fine. It's just you won't gonna be able to fly around the rivers and the mountains, right? That's why it actually matters, in my opinion, to have flying heroes flying with the flying uh, troops, because you will have full benefit out of them right and yeah uh, unfortunately or fortunately celestials have been the best one since the day one and i think uh, at first wilderberg's wirens were the worst one but as long as the game is progressing wirens are getting more love right um so yeah that's what i wanted to speak because there is a lot of confusion with this uh flying units and the special units which i love about this game because it gives us a lot of diversity in terms of fighting right uh, and as always guys if you like the video press like subscribe share uh, it gives me more and more motivation to make more videos when i understand that we are having a conversation in comments or on discord right and yeah i need to mention that i'm running the discord server now you're gonna see the newest video at first on discord and then on my youtube right that's what i'm doing so if you want to be the first one to see the newest videos just click on the discord link which is going to be on the description and you will be all good 
And yep, as always, I wish everybody an amazing day, morning, and night, wherever you are. We are going to see each other really, really soon. Bye-bye and good luck.